Welcome to the Sysivio dashboard demo video. We will spend a few minutes going through the Sysivio autonomous cloud native platform and its features. For today's demo, we will be in light mode. We'll start by exploring the cluster overview page. This is the home page for the Sysivio dashboard and the first page we see after logging into Sysivio. The cluster overview page displays a high level overview of the Sysivio AI prediction engine as well as the health of our cluster with specific health scores for the most important parts of our environment. The AI predicted events chart displays sequences detected by the Sysivio AI prediction engine as they progress in real time. Each circle on the graph represents a potential failure event. Events progress along the graph as the confidence level of our prediction increases. Each sequence is color coded according to the severity of the event. A yellow event is a warning, an orange event is an urgent warning, and a red event is a failure. Clicking on an event will bring us to the command center where we can see full details for each potential failure and allows us to take action. In the command center, Sysivio identifies the adverse events, provides the true root cause, and provides a fix for each event. Let's jump to the command center and then we'll come back to this page. This is the most unique and powerful part of the platform. This is where Sysivio empowers us to take action. Here is where Sysivio shows us the recommendations that we generate from our machine learning engines. Sysivio not only shows us the root cause of detected events, but we predict them ahead of time and offer fixes to keep our environment healthy before anything goes wrong. Here, we see the list of recommended actions, which we can filter by severity or by any of the other categories. Click details to get more information, including the root cause and the recommended fix, which we can execute by clicking on recommended command and approve action. How do we determine a failure or a predicted failure? In the background, Sysivio is collecting raw signals from all levels of our environment. We contextualize data in individual events and give each one a severity score. We then weed out the noise by correlating individual events to the different Kubernetes objects they impact. We're then able to build the sequence of events which leads us to a failure. This sequence not only delivers us the true root cause of the problem, but allows us to predict it before occurring again in the future. If we want to see the raw data or the entire sequences or dig further into any individual event, we can click on See Details to view all the breadcrumbs which revealed this problem to Sysivio. Now let's hop back to the cluster overview page to go through some of the other functionality. The health scores are displayed in three separate categories. The platform, which is our Kubernetes cluster itself, the applications, which are the processes in our pods, and our deployment, which covers the application architecture and configuration. We can see the progression of these health scores over time in five, 30, or 60 minute intervals. Below the health scores, we can see a live tracker of the health test so Sivio is continuously running for each of the layers. We can click into the health check page if we want to see all the tests that were run or to see the specific tests which passed or failed at a specific point in time. For example, when we saw that our cluster had a low health score. For further insights on the operability of our Kubernetes cluster, we can look at the map of our Kubernetes components, which will display all of the master and worker nodes and their status. This is where the connections between cluster components can be observed. See the master nodes and worker nodes and how they interact in real time. From our homepage, we can dive into other features to get a deeper understanding of what is happening in our environment. While we're talking about getting more raw information, let's jump into our Live Metrics page. Live Metrics is where we can access real time data on all of our pods, nodes, namespaces, and other cluster components. So Sibio's data collectors offer improved granularity, accuracy, and access to information generally hidden from operators with minimal resource consumption. KPI usage is an overview of the cluster memory and CPU usage. It represents all requests for memory and CPU usage on our cluster and the aggregation of the limits set. With a quick glance, we can see if our cluster is exceeding resource limits. Use the user-friendly search bar to easily find any of our pods, nodes, or namespaces. We can filter by a multitude of parameters or browse through all of the objects in our cluster using the table below. We can toggle between memory and CPU usage using the toggle switch to the right. We can click into any object to get more detailed information about that object, real-time metrics, and network connections. There are several other unique features here, including the ability to compare pods. Select any number of pods and then click Compare Pods over here. 
we can deselect any of the filters to get a closer look at the data. Lastly, we'll take a look at our multi-cluster view, which is a bird's eye view of our entire environment with all of our clusters. Each cluster card has the overall health score, the platform, application, and deployment health scores, and an overview of the entities running on each of our clusters. We can expand each cluster card to see the same health over time graph from the cluster overview page. We have full control over which clusters are added to this view. By clicking here, we can add any cluster URL on which we are running Sysivio. This feature operates in a swarm methodology, where each of the clusters communicates with the others. This means there is no dependency on a main or lead cluster. Once we connect two clusters, they will both be visible in each other's multi-cluster view. As we add more clusters, we can use a search bar to find a specific cluster. With that, we will conclude. Thank you for watching. This was just a high-level demo of the Sysivio dashboard. Head to the Contact Us page on the website for a free four-week trial and see what Sysivio can do for you.